MCV for U1, Chapter 6, Session 5. In this session, we are going to work on Section 6.2, Vector Edition from the textbook. If two vectors, F1 and F2, can be drawn in this form, we call them tail-to-tail orientation. Theta is the angle between F1 and F2. The parallelogram law for adding two vectors. To determine the sum of two vectors A and B, first we complete the parallelogram formed by these two vectors when they placed tail to tail. The sum of the vectors A and B is the diagonal of the parallelogram drawing from the same tail. In other words, Vector AD is addition of vector AB and vector AC in this diagram. The angle between two vectors is theta. Therefore, angle ABD is 180 minus theta. Using a triangular inequality, we'll see the magnitude of vector AB is smaller or equal than magnitude of A plus magnitude of B. When the angle between two vectors is zero, magnitude of A plus B is the same as magnitude of A plus magnitude of B. When the angle between two vectors is 180 degrees, then we have the minimum value of magnitude of A plus B, which is magnitude of A minus magnitude of B. Example 1. Given two vectors A and B such that the angle between them is 60 degrees. If magnitude of A is 3 and magnitude of B is 2, determine magnitude of A plus B. We start with the diagram. Vector A, magnitude of vector A is 3, magnitude of vector B is 2, and the angle between them is 60 degrees. If you complete the parallelogram, A plus B is drawn in red in this diagram. We are looking for magnitude of A plus B. Looking at triangle ABC, we can find magnitude of A plus B using cosine law. Magnitude of A plus B to the power of 2 is magnitude of A to the power of 2 plus magnitude of B to the power of 2 minus 2 times magnitude of A, magnitude of B, cosine of 120 degrees. From here, magnitude of A plus B is 4.36. There is another method to find the addition of two vectors. When the vectors are in tail to head position. For tail to tail position, we call it parallelogram law of addition. The addition of two vectors A and B is A plus B. When they are tail to head, then the addition of vector A and vector B is vector AC. The tail of the addition is the tail of the first one and the head of the addition is the head of the second one when they are in head to tail. Vector AB plus vector BA is going to be the same as vector AA which is zero vector. 
we know vector a b and b a are opposite of each other therefore the resultant is zero vector example two draw a plus minus b plus c using the vectors shown in this diagram notice that a plus vector a plus vector minus b is called the difference between a and b first we draw a diagram when minus b and a are tail to head therefore we have vector a minus b and we add it with vector c if it is tail to head we have a minus b plus c so we started putting them tail to head tail of minus b and head of a and tail of c and head of minus b and we added a and minus b then the resultant with c the magnitude of a plus b is always smaller or equal than magnitude of a plus magnitude of b Equal, equality holds when the angle between a and b is zero or one of the two vectors is zero next example using this diagram draw uh, express each vector in terms of a b and c vector b c vector b c is clearly opposite of vector a vector g f vector gf vector gf is the same as vector a it's equal to a vector ob ob vector a ob is addition of vector oa and ab which is vector a plus vector b vector ac vector ac is clearly the difference between vector b and a b minus a vector bg vector bg is addition of vector CB and is a subtraction of vector CB and CG which is C minus A let's use our knowledge to solve a problem an airplane heads due south at a speed of 300 kilometers per hour and meets a wind from the west at 100 km per hour. What is the resultant velocity of airplane relative to the ground? Let's start with the diagram. The airplane and wind. Airplane is heading south and its speed is 300 km per hour and wind is blowing from west and its size is 100 kilometers per hour the addition of two vectors v and w is vector ac which is basically the ground speed to find vector ac we use pythagorean the uh, theorem in triangle abc and we find size of AC which is 316 kilometers per hour to find the direction we need angle theta tan of theta is 100 divided by 300 size of vector W divided by size of vector V 
Therefore, theta is almost 18 degrees, 18.5 degrees. In summary, when two vectors are tail to tail, the angle between vectors A and B is theta, and the diagonal passing through the sharing tail of A and B gives us the addition of A plus B. Triangular law says the, magnet, the vector A plus B is vector A plus vector B is the third side of a triangle. When the tail of the second vector is on head of the first one. Magnitude of A plus B is always smaller or equal than magnitude of A plus magnitude of B. A minus B is A plus opposite of vector B. When two opposite vectors are added, the resultant is zero vector. The zero vector has a magnitude of zero and no defined direction. To think about A minus B, arrange the vectors tail to tail. A minus B is the vector that must be added to B to get A. To understand the addition of vectors better, next session we solve question number one, question number two, question number five and question number nine from page 250 and 251 of the textbook. Thanks for watching.